His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met Sheikh Libya Palace today. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses reviewed a number of projects that aim to achieve more value for the national economy. They confirmed care to the private sector to reinforce increasing its share in the process of comprehensive development, highlighting the government's keenness to enhance projects that support the economy and develop the field of tourism. The Royal Highnesses also reviewed the government's efforts to reinforce the pillars of security and stability that aid in keeping the safe environment that encourage investment and support the national economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Iqlibiya Palace today. A number of representatives and Shura Council's members led by the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said Bahrain, thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, has been able to make numerous achievements, stressing that the His Majesty the King is resuming the path of accomplishments and success. His Royal Highness hailed the Kingdom's urban and civil development as well as continuous expansion of investment and real estate projects, which reflect the investors' confidence in Bahrain's economic atmosphere. The Prime Minister said Bahrain has always been and will remain an open country, saying that there are some who attempted to take advantage of the kingdom's openness to spread chaos and vandalism, but the people of Bahrain were able to stand against such a challenge. He said Bahrain has and will remain strong thanks to the cohesion between the leadership and the people and the awareness and unity to preserve the homeland's security and stability. His Rohanis reiterated the necessity to focus in the coming phase on ways of developing and strengthening the national economy to keep up with the rapid developments. He also noted the importance of constant revision of the different laws and legislation and make them more flexible to attract more investments in various fields. The Prime Minister called on consolidating cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities for the best interests of the country and the people and stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation between the representatives and Shura councils to support the development process and provide the best living standards to the people. In regards to foreign affairs, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the necessity of preserving the advanced level the country has achieved and avoid conflict taking place in the region.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Gbabiya Palace today several members of Yatim family who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his noble sentiments and offering condolences on the demise of Hussein bin Ali Yatim. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister recalled the contributions of the deceased in the commercial and economic fields, noting the role of Yatim family in the commercial and economic sectors and succeeded in being one of the major commercial families in the country. He noted the contributions of Bahraini men in the development of the kingdom, stressing the importance of exerting more efforts to achieve the best interests of the kingdom and meet the aspirations of the people. For their part, the audience expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his noble sentiments and stances with the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended congratulations and best wishes to His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain on the upcoming New Year 2016. He commended the opening of the $100 million Chinese Dragon City development in Diyar al Mahareg, which will have a positive impact on the local and regional trade. He also welcomed the recent opening of the Postal Department History and Documentation, a museum located in the Postal Office building in Bab el Bahrain area.
A number of memoranda submitted by ministries and ministerial committees were also discussed during this week's cabinet meeting. The cabinet approved a memorandum of understanding between the University of Bahrain and the University of St. Petersburg, Russia, to reinforce and develop academic cooperation through the exchange of expertise, joint projects and research activities, and bilateral visits between faculty, officials and students from both universities. It approved a draft law to amend the sale prices of diesel, kerosene and jet fuel and keep the subsidized price for fishermen and bakers. The meeting also approved a memorandum regarding the organizational restructuring of the Ministry of Forks, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning. The meeting also reviewed an MOU between the government of Bahrain and the government of India on bilateral cooperation to prevent human trafficking. In addition, the cabinet took note of a number of draft proposals by the Representatives' Council. Following the meeting, the Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs, Isa al-Hamadi, held a press conference outlining the issues and decisions discussed during the cabinet meeting. He said the newly opened Chinese Dragon City invested 100 million U.S. dollars and includes around 700 shops that would contribute to enhancing the trade sector of the kingdom. He highlighted the redirecting of subsidies to the citizens is a governmental policy in line with a government action plan, which was approved by the Representatives Council. Also during the press conference, the Minister of Energy, Abdul Hussein Mirza said some prices will be amended which would contribute in rationalizing spending. He pointed out that new prices of diesel and kerosene came after an in-depth study with the legislative authority and took into consideration the prices in the GCC countries. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, received at his majlis in Rafah the president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Ibrahim Hamad Janahi, the dean of UOB's College of Physical Education and Physiotherapy, Professor Muna Salah al-Ansari, the dean of the College of Engineering, Dr. Fuad al-Ansari, dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Assam al-Joder, and director of the Bahrain Media Center Facilities, Mahar Rashid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid discussed with the UOB president, the United States experience of adopting wrestling games within the academic courses in the university. His Highness hailed UOB's approval of establishing the Khalid bin Hamad Center for Mixed Martial Arts, as well as approving MMA academic courses next February. He also hailed UOB's remarkable contributions in the development of the educational field in the kingdom. He was briefed on UOB's academic plans regarding supporting the MMA sport. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed UOB's remarkable efforts in supporting the MMA field, which would contribute in boosting the kingdom's status on the international level in this sport. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, also received at his majlis and Rafa the president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Ibrahim Janahi, Dean of Student Affairs, Dr. Sam al and a number of academics. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed UOB Student Council and clubs in supporting the academic vision of the university and expressed appreciation for students' interest to enter the field of MMA. His Highness expressed pride in Bahraini youths participating in achieving numerous accomplishments to the kingdom in various fields. His Highness then was presented with a gift which resembles UOB's constant support to him. Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir received yesterday Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali al-Khalifa in which he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa to the Sudanese President and their best wishes of further progress and prosperity to Sudan. The Sudanese President expressed his congratulations to Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali al-Khalifa who was bestowed the highest social responsibility decoration by Sudanese 
president in recognition of his role in charity and human voluntary work. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa expressed his pride regarding the honoring which contributes in exerting more efforts in serving the community and nation as well as enhancing the values of voluntary work in Arab communities. In a celebration hosted by the Sudanese capital Khartoum, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa was bestowed the highest social responsibility decoration by the Sudanese president, which was presented by the Sudanese vice president, Hassabo Mohamed Abdurrahman. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali expressed pride regarding the honoring and hailed all programs and initiatives that contribute in serving humanity, charity and voluntary work.